Welcome back. We're joined by Brenda Easter from the Iowa College Student Aid Commission. The College Student Aid Commission provides a lot of resources for students, parents, and adults who are looking to go back to school. Brenda, could you please elaborate on some of the things that you provide um, at the Iowa College Student Aid Commission? Certainly. The Iowa College Student Aid Commission is a state agency and we offer free resources to Iowa families and any really Iowa citizen who's searching for career planning information, college planning, financial aid information. Um, we're working on admissions applications and financial aid applications. We have a new resource called um, I Have a Plan Iowa that offers all of these resources at one place. It's a one-stop shop. Now you have something called the Interest Profiler. Uh, we see TVs about being, or TV shows about being profiled. What is an interest profiler? Well, an interest profiler is really an assessment tool. It's a tool to help individuals, especially those maybe who have been laid off or seeking employment opportunities. It helps them determine what their interests are and then matches those interests with potential career opportunities. And how much does that cost? It's free. So there's no excuse not to do it. There's no excuse not right, to do it. Good. Another tool that you have is the basic skills survey. What is that all about and what does it mean for someone who's looking for changes in their career? Well, basic skills is really important tool. Um, when you're trying to relocate or you know find a new employment opportunity, it's really important to assess what types of uh, skills you already have mm. and then match those with occupations. But more importantly, if you're trying to advance your career, perhaps seeking an employment opportunity that maybe needs additional training or some education, the basic skill profiler is going to help you determine what you currently have and what you may need to obtain either through education or training to pursue your new career. And is that different than the compass test that um, we learned about in the last segment? Um, it's similar because it assesses your interest levels, it assesses your reading, your mathematical skills, mm -hmm. things like that. Okay. You know, obviously you don't want to pursue an occupation that you aren't necessarily prepared for. Okay. One of your other tools is called a work values sorter. And what, does, what is that and what does it do? Well, it's interesting because the work values sorter is a tool that can help you determine what's really important for you. And it's important for employers as well because they're going to find an employee with, you know, that has the right uh, occupational skills, interests, and then obviously job satisfaction along the way. So it's a very important tool. It's important for students and for adults, whoever, to find the job that fits their interests. Now as the College Student Aid Commission, what, what educational and training institutions do you work with? We work with all of the um, colleges and universities in the state of Iowa, and we work with the workforce centers across the state to ensure that they know how to utilize these tools to help their students, to help adult learners, to help job seekers um, utilize all the tools. So you work with public and private universities, the community colleges, all the private colleges, and for profit, not for profit. So if someone wanted to see the, the whole spectra, you would be a good place to talk to. Absolutely. The web portal has information about all of the educational opportunities within the state. And what's the address again for the web portal? It's www.ihaveaplaniowa.gov. Great, great. So if you're a, a parent or a student and you want to go to that one website to find all of these resources, that would probably be the place that you would think that they would be a good place to start that look. That's, that's absolutely correct. We've not only tied in the resources of Iowa College Aid, but we've also tried to tie in resources for the colleges and universities, workforce development, the Department of Education. We're trying to make it a real good uh, tool for a, a one-stop shop, if you will, for Iowans to find the ne necessary resources. What, what if I live uh, out of sight of Des Moines and I really can't come to the downtown Des Moines to see you? I mean, how do I access services without spending a half a day driving back and forth? Well, all of the tools that we've talked about are web-based. So as long as you go and have Internet access, you can go to the, and access any of the tools that I've just explained. And do you ever go out and meet with the schools and have assemblies oh, and information? Absolutely. We have trainers that um, are usually at all of the high schools across the state, the middle schools. Um, we're working with the Workforce Center offices right now, and we, we can, you know, basically help anybody who needs us. So if I go to a workforce center through Iowa Workforce Development or I go to any college or a high school, someone should be able to direct me uh, or help me navigate the uh, website too. Yes. That's great. I think one of the other concerns that adult uh, workers have is the cost. 
and um, your website also helps with that you know, helping them with financial aid and how to fill out a FAFSA. And Absolutely. Um, there is information about the financial aid planning process. Uh, we have career awareness, obviously, tools, mm -hmm. and we've just talked about that. But the financial aid process as well, and especially for those who are unemployed and maybe seeking some mm -hmm. additional education, the financial aid process is available through I Have a Plan Iowa. We have um, experts on staff who can answer any question available or that's necessary and then obviously we you know point them to educational opportunities within the state what are some of the biggest concerns that people have when they call in I mean the most frequently asked question how am I going to pay for college and uh, do you feel that there really is money available for most persons uh, at least to support a lot of their college costs well everybody has to start with the FAFSA you know, you fill out the free application for federal student aid that takes a snapshot of the individual or the family's, you know, financial situation. And then from there, uh, the college utilizes the resources they have and then the state resources, which the College Student Aid Commission administers all the state-funded resources. And then we match that up with student loans if needed. So typically, um, when you package all of those resources together, most anyone can go to college. Great, great. Thank you so much for sharing with us you know, all the important information that you have today. And we're going to take a break right now.